Hey Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott, who's my MetabolicMasterpiece.com. It is Wednesday, June 4th. Gonna be training later this afternoon doing a strength focused push workout. So, blasting our chest, shoulders, and tries. Afterwards, my workout partner and I, uh, Rick, we're planning on doing a little bit of a pose down. So, hopefully, that happens. Depends on the timing and if there's any aerobics classes going down, because that's usually where we go do some of the posing and progress pick updates. Uh, Rick is heading out to Jamaica tomorrow, so I'll be without him for about five, six days. Um, so I'll be looking for some other training partners around the gym, but he's, uh, he just wants to see. He's been uh, doing well. I mean, he's been basically consistent, keeping his body fat low for a good uh, year and a half now. So not like he needed to really do much cutting for this trip. He was already looking fantastic, but uh, as he's been seeing me progressing, getting down to pretty lean body fat percentage. Um, we just thought it'd be a lot of fun to do a little pose down together. I don't think we've ever done that. Uh, so that should be exciting. So look forward to that. Hopefully I can get you some behind the scenes footage of it. Uh, as well, if this rain holds off, uh, my kids have a track meet today at the University of Windsor. Uh, my daughter's grade five, my son's grade seven. They're running the 100, 200, and uh, the relay. So very exciting, looking forward to that. Um, I guess that's it for the updates for right now. I had another great sleep last night. So that's three days in a row where I took five milligrams of uh, melatonin. Been sleeping really well. I woke up really briefly at 3.30 and 5.30, um, but fell asleep right back to sleep right away. So it's still really good quality sleep last night. I am ready for breakfast. I've got two egg and cheese wraps here. So I used six egg whites, one whole egg, some spinach. I cooked that up in a teaspoon of coconut oil and uh, put it on two wraps with some salsa. Looking forward to diving in this. I think I said I melted cheese on there. I don't know. Either way, there's some melted cheese on there. So really looking forward to this. Feeling hungry right now. It is, let's see, just after 10 a.m. So I've been up since seven. Slept in this morning. Um, typically, I get up by five o'clock most days, and sometimes I'm up at four o'clock when I have an early training appointment. Um, but yeah, feeling fantastic once again. Have some great energy. My hammies, my hammies are freaking killing me right now. That uh, leg workout, hypertrophy focused leg workout from yesterday, killed me. So it's a good sign that I'm feeling my hamstrings because. Uh, those Romanian deadlifts were, were feeling great if you didn't catch that video from yesterday. So I feel like I'm making some good progress there and my mind-muscle connection is excellent with that exercise. All right, enough ramblings. I will catch up with you soon for some more yeah. behind the scenes footage. Chasing first, chasing first. Look at that lean on the turn. Hard to tell though, it's hard to look tell until so you get around. Look at him though. Shane, get away from him. Almost 4.30, just got back from uh, the kids' track meet. They kicked some butt. It's a lot of fun watching them, even though it was raining the whole time. Just a light little uh, drizzle. Uh, had a tuna sandwich while I was there, some grapes, and then on the way home, we treated them to some a and So I had a couple, uh, stole a couple of sweet potato fries from them. Um, yeah, so get ready to hit the gym for hyper, no, strength-focused push workout. Catch you behind the scenes. It was interesting that both Rick and I started off the workout not feeling particularly strong. This is the fourth round on this program and the first week that we decided, you know what, uh, just didn't feel like challenging ourselves for any kind of personal best or anything like that. We've been progressing in strength for the past two weeks and um, eh, we just wanted to stick with the same weight, same reps, work on our form, control. Everything was feeling good, joints felt good and everything, so we did decline bench press first, then the dumbbell incline presses. By the time I got to these dips to work our chest, I was starting to feel strong again. I was starting to, I don't know, just gain some confidence 
and uh, although I didn't bump up the weight here everything felt good reps I squeezed out one extra rep um, just felt strong and it carried over into the overhead press where I did challenge myself I added on 10 pounds and uh, actually got in an extra rep than I had been used to performing the, the previous week so more weight and an extra rep um, just felt absolutely awesome I don't know what it is usually at this stage in the workout um, things are starting to fatigue but it felt really strong and uh, we finished off with some closed grip bench press and then Rick and I headed downstairs to do a little uh, posing together just kind of going through some of the mandatory poses um, again Rick is heading to Jamaica so he's he's been in great condition for a while now but uh, just kind of cranked it up a little bit in the past couple of weeks just dialing things in so Rick is 5'10 just under 170 pounds I am 5'7 154 we're just having fun here we're not uh, we're not trying to be um, experts <laughs> at the posing I'm not putting in our best effort at posing just having a little bit of fun seeing how we're looking um, I'm 38 years old Rick is 51 and just uh, kicking ass um, at this point I'm looking at holy crap I need to continue really putting some extra focus on these calves I hate to blame genetics or anything but uh, man I am busting my ass trying to get these things to grow and they have been growing it's a, a definite improvement over the past year um, but now that my legs are growing as well it makes my calves look even smaller <laughs> so my thighs are getting bigger which is awesome because that's been a stubborn part for me um, but the calves um, just hardest part for me to work everything else comes up pretty easy pretty happy with a lot of these uh, poses even though we're not giving our best effort just kind of fun friggin just just great for us to kind of uh, showcase our physiques um, kind of like our little art gallery here working on our body as a work of art and uh, getting to share it Rick's intercostals serratus everything is upper abs very uh, very shredded there it's friggin great to see <laughs> and he's dying he hasn't been doing this in, in ages so uh, definitely feeling the cramping that I was feeling in the earlier weeks while I'm uh, taking my progress picks all right little post-workout bowl of frosted flakes it is almost 8 p.m. and I'm spent. <laughs> it's been uh, it's been a busy day, feeling tired, tough workout, and uh, I'm ready to get a good sleep. I'll be up at 4 a.m. so this is working out good for me. So I'll get a good sleep tonight. Wake up at 4, train a client, get ready for a great day tomorrow. Hope you enjoy the behind-the-scenes footage. Hope you had yourself a great day. I'll catch up with you tomorrow.